Hello everybody, uh, I'm going to continue with making uh, my next item now and I'm going on to the bypass valve. Um, you can make the main body out of 0.425 AF bronze or half inch diameter bronze so I shall be using half inch diameter because I've not got the other one. Uh, so this valve consists of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, with the handle on the uh, on the knob on the shaft there, nine items on the bypass rod. Uh, so I'll start with this body first, and uh, once the body's done. It's got two pieces of silver soldered in there to connect your pipes to and then it's got a top part to the body that screws in then it's got this uh, this needle valve a locking nut to lock it onto your the f uh, floor of your cab and then there's a a land nut on the top and then the um, the bypass rod fits onto this needle valve and what happens I'll do a few clips of me making this. Okay, so just a quick tip here. The important thing we're doing the second part of the valve body is to put the first part that you machined into forger and set it up within half a thou concentric. Screw your second part into the body so that when you drill it and machine it all, it's all concentric with the other part of the body. So that's just important that
Okay, just an update where I'm up to on my bypass valve. I've got the main body parts made, the top and the bottom piece, and the the top one will screw into the bottom one, like so. Then that fits under the floor of the loco with a locking nut on top, which I've got to do yet. And then there's a land nut to go round here for the um, needle valve. I'm not done them yet, but I have done these parts. I've done the the parts where the pipe the pipes uh, screw on. These want silver soldering in now. Like that. I'm gonna silver solder those in. Uh, and then when I've got them silver soldered in, I'll move on to to rest it valve, which is the locking nut, the gland nut, the needle valve, and the uh, bypass rod with its little handle at the top. Okay, quick update on my bypass valve. It's now, all the components are now finished now. I didn't actually show you, me show you make the um, the bypass rod because it's, it's just straightforward. I'll just explain it quickly. You've got a, a piece of one eighth, um, I'll just zoom out a fraction. A piece of one eighth stainless steel threaded on both ends 5BA, I think that is, yeah. And then I've made two two stainless steel bosses that screw on to each end, like so. So they're just 5 sixteenths diameter bosses with a 5BA tap towel. And then the bottom one's counterboard to accept the... Uh, needle valve and then there's a cross hole because I have two thirds of the way through needle valve with a 10BA locking screw that's there if you can see it it's that small so that's the bottom end then the top end is, is again it's 5BA and then in the yeah 5BA and I've made this little this little handle out of stainless and that just screws into the top like so. So that's all the bypass rod is. Now going back to the uh, the, the, the complete uh, items on the, for the components there's actually 13 items in this component you've got one the, the handle, the knob one, the boss two, the bypass rod three, the bottom boss four, the 10BA screw five, then you've got the needle valve and its rubber o-ring five, six, seven, the gland nut that fits on top eight, the locking nut nine, the bypass valve, I'll call that the top of the body, ten, then the bypass valve, 11, and two pipe union nuts, 12 and 13. So I'll just quickly assemble this, assemble this together. So the, the, the main body fits into the top body, fits into the main body. And the top body houses the needle valve with its 4BA screw. So that just screws in, these have been silver soldered in, as I explained. So that screws into the main body. Then 
Then uh, the locking nut fits on and I've made the locking nut from stainless steel and I've made it a bit, a little bit bigger on, on hexagon that I would normally make it because I wanted a, a larger area to clamp it to the floor of the cab. So the floor of the cab will be in between those two items and that'll clamp it to the floor and then the valve sits underneath the cab floor. Then uh, you put your needle valve in and screw that down and on that needle valve there's a rubber o-ring so I've screwed that valve in now so if I blow I get nothing come through the top hole then if I open I don't know if you could hear that, it comes through. So that's sealing okay. Right, so then on top of the O ring goes the uh, gland nut, and that'll clamp that O ring just at top of valve body to seal it. Right, you've got your union nuts on for your pipe on there. And I've made the union nuts from uh, 10 millimeter AF hexagon brass bar, the 3 8 long with a 5 16 by 5 16 32 threading inside to match those. Then we come on to bypass rod, which I've already assembled. You've got your handle at the top, the boss at the top, and the boss at the bottom. Then the the bypass rod fits into this and lines up with that hole I've drilled two thirds of the way through the needle valve. That will line up with that hole like so. And then I've got this little 10 ba screw here which might be a bit awkward to put in of at camera, but I'll try. That little 10 ba screw, I don't know if you can, I'll just zoom into that, it's, it's really tiny. Oh, it's dropped out. Just caught it. I'll just put that in again. Right, so there's the little 10 ba screw I'm going to use to lock the needle valve onto the bypass rod with. Right, so I've got the 10 ba screw in, that was a little bit fiddly that. That's okay, that's in now. And then uh, that's the whole completed valve. And I'm going to, I was going to silver solder these bosses into the actual rod, but I think I'm just going to lock tight them in. Because it's not it's not near any major heat, and then if I've ever got to dismantle it, I can just heat it up, and that'll destroy the Loctite. So that's it. Then the bypass valve is now complete, except for Loctite, and it sits in under floor at loco up to there. And then the rod comes up, and that's how you turn it on and off the top of the cab. Uh, okay, that's that finished then. So uh, I think I say this every time I, I do a video. If you've not seen my other fittings, which I've done on my boiler, uh, I've done these in indi individual videos, all these other fittings. And also, I've done my boiler in a 12-part series, if you wanted to take a look at that, if you've not seen it. So, uh, I think that's everything for this little part of the project then, and I'll, uh, I'll catch you on my next part then, so bye for now then.